you to the I-251 fall, the electro-optical sensor, and how to use it to deliver a guided bomb and missile. Specifically, we'll learn to employ the KH-29T guided missile and the CAD 500KR guided bomb. I've started the lesson in active pause mode as we learn to use the sensor. The first thing I'll ask you to do is enter air to ground mode by pressing 7. Do that now. Now that we're in air to ground mode, we need to activate the Schwall sensor in the nose of the aircraft. The Schwall sensor image is displayed on the IT23M TV display that dominates the right side of the front dash. Turn on the Schwall by pressing O now. Let's talk a little bit about the symbols you see on the Schwall display. On the top and left side of the display are scales and reference carrots that indicate how far your sensor is slewed off from the center line or sight position. The top scale is your azimuth slew that extends 40 degrees left and right of center line. The vertical scale on the left side is your elevation scale that ranges between positive 20 and negative 90 degrees. The default boresight position is marked by the longer lines on the reference scales. Try slewing the camera left and right by pressing comma and forward slash. To slew the camera up and down, press period and semicolon. Return the sensor to foresight by pressing right control and I now. To the right of the elevation reference scale is your boxed pitch angle. In the top right corner is your current altitude. If an R is to the right of the value, it means the altitude is regards to your radar altimeter and not barometric altitude. Press the spacebar to continue. There are four corner markers in the center of the display that indicate your sensor magnification level. When the corner markers are displayed, the Schwall is using 8x magnification. Press the equal sign to change the magnification to 23x. When you did so, note that the corner markers were removed. Return to 8x magnification by pressing the minus sign now. In the center of the display is a horizontal dashed line that indicates your pitch angle. The two solid lines indicate your roll angle. These are useful when you're flying heads down with no external flight references. Press the spacebar to continue. On the HUD, you'll notice that TV is displayed on the left side to indicate that the Schwall is active, ground mode is indicated in the bottom left corner, and the weapon type is shown in the bottom right corner. In the center of the HUD is your aiming reticle that corresponds to where the Schwall sensor is looking. This is a useful reference to help steer the sensor to the target. Press the spacebar to continue. Use your small sensor controls of comma, forward slash, period, and semicolon to move the sensor over the small airfield directly ahead of you near the coastline. When you slew the sensor over it, press enter to lock the sensor at that location to ground stabilize it. When you do so, you'll see that KC is shown in the Schwall display to the left of the altitude indication, meaning that the sensor is ground stabilized and can be slewed. In the bottom right corner of the display is the flight time in seconds for the selected weapon to reach the designated location. In the center of the TV display is a small dashed box termed the target frame. You will want to adjust the size of the frame to best correspond to the size of the target you wish to lock. The size of the frame is indicated on the fall display in the upper left corner. Try increasing the target frame size by pressing right control and right bracket. Now try decreasing the size of the target frame by pressing right control and left bracket. Slew the sensor to the right end of the airfield and locate one of the two tanks. You may wish to select 23x magnification by pressing the equal sign. When the sensor is within range, it will automatically lock up the target and the KC indication will be replaced by an AC indication once we unpause the lesson. Press the spacebar to continue. On the left side of the HUD, you will notice the range carrot and maximum and minimum range bars of the selected weapon. When the carrot is between the two bars, the launch authorized indication will appear on the HUD and the Schwall display. Let's start with the KH-29T missile. This is a 12 kilometer range missile with a 685 kilogram warhead that will destroy most any armored vehicle and most bunkers. Once it is launched, it is fire and forget. Press D to select it and it will unpause the lesson. I have now unpaused the lesson and you're flying towards the target. If you don't see the AC lock indication on the tank, 
you may want to try adjusting your frame size and wait until you're a little bit closer. Once within range of the laser rangefinder in the Schwal, the slant range to the target is displayed in the bottom center of the display. When you have the LA indication, press the spacebar to launch the missile. Nice job. We now have a CAB 500 KR guided bomb selected. This has much less range than the KH 29T, as indicated by the much smaller maximum range bar. However, it has a 380 kilogram warhead and is also a fire and forget weapon. Use what you've learned in this lesson to lock the second tank on the Schwal and engage it with a CAB 500 KR guided bomb. And I will fly out for one minute, 60 seconds, and do a 180, come back around, and follow Mr. Wagner's instructions. To do that, I'm going to set my chronological clock. That's so now. Then we'll fly out for one minute. Have about 45 seconds to go to uh, turn around. Now, one thing I've learned with the Cav 500, it is more, much more difficult to get a lock. And I think from doing this several times over, that some tips that seem to help are to have a higher altitude and to have the aircraft steady as you approach the target. Because the shawl does just doesn't really with this weapon, it doesn't lock on near as easy as with the missile. You're yeah, coming up on one minute mark. All right, stop the clock, reset it, do a 180. So I'm going to use some of my speed to gain some altitude. Three thousand meters. I've had fairly decent success coming in about 3,000 meters or so with this weapon. Okay, we're at 90 degrees, which should be somewhere close to where our uh, target is. Right there, a little bit more to our right. Okay. Slow down. Use the shawl to uh, slew down. Move over to the airfield. Okay. Ground lock. Magnify. There's our target. And let's see how this does.
slight dive. Still don't have a lock yet. Still no lock yet. There we go. Release. Well done. Both targets are destroyed. On target. You can end the lesson now by pressing the escape key. Alright, cool. And that's taken me quite a bit of practice to be able to do that well with these two weapons. In the first two passes, uh, de deploying them on target. So I'm not going to end the lesson. I'm going to practice a ILS landing at my um, ending airfield. As set up in the mission, Cobletti. So I will go to navigation mode. And fly out to my number two waypoint, which will put me right close to the pickup for the uh, localizer.